What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA Ultimate Team Draft Challenge. Today, we are going to tackle the highest rated La Liga foot draft. That's right, we are going to try and crack at the very least a 1-2-3. We got a 1-2-1, one, one. I think yesterday was the highest rated for the Premier League. You can click the link for that up on the screen somewhere right here. But uh, I am excited for the La Liga highest rated because i think that this has the best chance now we are going to have some slight rule changes for how we build the drafts do you want to be able to afford players that you can get in draft if so visit u7 buy to buy your foot 23 coins they are cheap fast and reliable and make sure to use my code nep at checkout for six percent off and those obviously are going to be quite simple if a hero or an icon was predominantly from that league they also count. So, for example, Rude Hullet would be eligible for the Syria, and yeah, arguably, arguably for the Premier League as well because he did spend three years at Chelsea. Mind you, only getting thirty-two games. And so, with that being said, there's actually no, <laughs> there's actually no. Uh... Wow, look! I didn't realize Lucio played for so many teams, man. Um, there's actually no La Liga players here. So we will, of course, go with 93 Rutulit and hopefully Team of the Year Benzema. No Team of the Year Benzema. It is going to be 88 Rakidic. Uh, got an assist last night as well. And then up at the striker role. So I, I, I like, you know, I assume we go with... Well, no, because we don't have to go with anyone here, do we? We can just take that Julian Alvarez. I do expect us to get full chemistry for La Liga. 90 Pedri is a cracking option and of course if you guys are following along at home and you think you can beat me in the best highest rated La Liga draft tweet me or Instagram DM me I think you can message on TikTok now as well all socials are found down below as Kamavinga goes in and we will take Tiago as well so we've got a, a Spanish link with Tiago at the very least Julian Alvarez the other non La Liga player Wow. All Premier League past and presents. Roberto Carlos, of course, spent an intense amount of his career in La Liga. And it's, unless there, like, even if there was a La Liga left back here, Roberto Carlos would just be the one. In at centre back, number one, Mario Hermoso. Good card at the start of the game cycle. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll take the Eder Militao as well. Another Real Madrid link, another World Cup phenom. And then at right back is going to be Montoya. And so, as I said, guys, the chemistry generally going to be quite easy. We'll go with, uh, ooh, do we go with Mamadou Shavili or Lunin for the... I suppose it doesn't really matter for the links, does it? We do get an extra chem point with Lunin, but we should get all of the La Liga chem anyway. So, other than uh, Julian Alvarez and Thiago, this draft is good for chemistry. Can we get some big rating? Trap in goal, as always. We are going to get Pau Torres or Jules Kunde. We're going to take Pau Torres. Also scored last night. Uh, we'll swap him in there. That's a nice big upgrade for the starting 11. And we'll take uh, Zinchenko. We could have used him yesterday in the Premier League draft. Oh, that is amazing, isn't it? 96 Luka Modric replaces the 89 Thiago. Other than Julian Alvarez now, we have got full chem and a good rating so far with lots of upgradable options. Mascarell comes on into the bench, <clears throat> as does Johan Cruyff. He's going to be Johan Cruyff. He's going to go up in there instead of uh, Rakitic. We do lose one chem point with that, but we'll get that back. Easily enough, I'm sure. And we will also be taking Carlos Vela. Not a bad start. I'm going to need that La Liga striker or icon, um, you know, or icon or hero. But the rating is quite nice. It is just whether or not we're going to be able to pick up that chemistry. No La Liga players here. We're going to go with Dennis Uh He actually gets onto the team over that rude hullet, doesn't he? How about that? How about that? Three picks to go. Can we get ourselves a striker for this one? 
We're going to get 94 Messi. He goes on the bench as well. This is a huge draft. Next up. All right, we're going to have to take uh, Alex Moreno there. He doesn't get onto the bench, but obviously you know the rules. We've got to take a La Liga if they appear. And so, uh, unfortunately, there was no... There was no um, La Liga striker. And so an Argentine manager will get us one more chem point. And there it is, Madelon. And that gets us to kick things off a 1-2-1, one, one, which is actually really, really good. As I said to you guys yesterday, I think a 1-2-3 is definitely possible for a La Liga draft. A 1-2-1 one, one for attempt number one. Let's get into attempt number two. All right, attempt number two. Here we go. Do you know, I'm going to take the 4 3 2 1 again because it's just the best formation for this one. Hopefully, this time around, we'll get our team of the year, Benzema. We don't get anything good for us there, so we will take uh, Bobby Baggio. Go on, give me that team of the year. Ooh. 94 Eusebio. No other La Liga players in there. But Rakitic again. 19 years for Del Piero at Juventus. How mad is that? Crazy. What a career. Rakitic goes in again. This time we need the La Liga striker. And we don't get it again. We are going to take Gabriel Jesus. Because he's going to have the most promising ability to get linked. If we don't get a La Liga striker. We will go with Pedri again. And oh the Oki Koke this time around. Well. That informed Nacho Fernandez, Spanish and Real Madrid. And it is going to be 94 Eder Militao. This draft is picking itself. Look at that. Another player with, oh, they don't show the uh, details on him, with an insane career at one club. 95 miles. I'm so glad that a La Liga player didn't actually pop up there because this draft is massive. In at right back. Nothing doing. We will go with <clears throat> Munir for that rating. Could have gone with Dallo to try and get the Premier League players in or whatever, but not a problem. And then we'll go with Campos in goal. 90 rated, 24 chemistry. Uh, that centre mid is going to be a bit of a problem. We're going to have to get him gone. We do get a Rulli, which does lose us a little bit of chemistry off the, off the jump, but it's nice to have Rulli in there. Digne. We've got Savic. As well, not that he needs to go into the team. We've got Hermoso again. Not that he needs to go into the team. That centre-back pairing is wild. Damn, that's tough. We've got to take Fernando because he is the La Liga player. We can pop him in there as well just to get the La Liga player in there. But unfortunately, that is not good for chemistry. And similarly with Acuna, would be nice if we could convert him to a centre-mid. But not to be... Well, 95 Pushkas is a nice little upgrade on Ivan Rakitic. And again, this draft in general is, is genuinely huge. No La Liga players here either. Papa is there. I feel like taking him over Hullet because he will get full chemistry. And that is actually key when it comes to getting a big high-rated draft for a league-specific situation. Got to take Gene over Messi. But I don't need that. I need a centre mid and a right back. I can obviously put uh, Campos in goal. Nothing there either. God damn. Mm. We can put Campos in there, get a little bit more chemistry. Oh, actually, we lose, we lose a lot of chemistry on that. Never mind. Or two has to come. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, there's our right back. Jesus Navas gives us a cheeky little plus three. What are we? We're one La Liga manager away from full chem on him. And that then would again get us to like a 120. Yeah, we could not get it again, guys. A La Liga manager is all right here. That's La Liga smart bank, isn't it? Or do we have an Argentine manager? Yes, we do. All right. 
Delco gets us the chemistry. It's a 120 for attempt number two. There's some really, really nice players in that draft as well. If that was just a draft that we built for fun to play with, that would be a really cool team. Those two centre-backs are outrageous. The front line is incredible. The midfield is very good. But unfortunately, it's not. So I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys. Attempt number three. Let's go for a different formation, even if we get that formation. Yeah, we'll go for the 3-4-2-1. La Liga left mid, right mids are quite tricky, to be fair. Ooh, 95 Xavi. Of course. It, oh, it, wait. Why does it give him an icon profile? Of course, spent an incredible amount of his career at Barcelona. Four years at Al Saad for Xavi. 113 appearances, 25 goals. That's amazing. What a return from him. And what a player to start off with. Come on, give me that team of the year, Benz. That Rakitic is there again, the bane of my life. We could have taken Pushkas here. The rating would have been through the roof off the first few. And we're also going to go with Memphis Depay. Not the best version of him, unfortunately. And Iago Aspas. That's really good for the chemistry. All right, come on. Give me the good left mid, right mids. Mane, Simon, Paul, Ljungberg, or Jin. Ooh la la. Yes, please, David. And then in a right mid. We don't get anything worth anything. Nathan Redmond actually doing very good at Besiktas. Our first centre back is going to be Rafael Marquez, which is also great for the chemistry. And then at centre mid, I'm going to take Koke here because I'd rather go for an 88 Koke and the chance of team of the year Modric than a 90 Modric, right? That Ed Emila Tau as well. If that was a team of the year version, we could have gone with the centre back. The big centre back, the Nesta. Could have been good. We got Lejuen, Ezela, or Domingos Duarte. Oh, excuse me, guys, for you. Oh. Whoa. And there's David Soria. 30 chemistry already. It's only that right mid that doesn't give us the chem. This could be the 1 2 3. We'd only need it to be 90 rated. With the chemistry, Holly goes in there. What we got? We got Emerson Royale as well. Is just the right mid that needs to be upgraded. Isn't Pinnock playing well for Brentford at the moment, huh? Um, Fred Solimarch. There's no La Liga players there. Three more picks on the bench. Yaya Torre the reserves this rating isn't even that good this draft is uh all and apart spectacularly al oy ran now i would actually play him at right mid um obviously we don't gain or lose any chemistry off the back of that as well but we could get one more chem point from a german manager to link up with hoffman oh, no no need oh do we make that risk do we take R9, who of course spent a large portion of his career in La Liga for that big rating? Or do we do the boring, obvious, let's get the chemistry thing? Fortunately, we do. Now we just need to get this to a 90 rated to get that 1, 2, 3. Jorginho comes in and just about squeezes onto the bench. Three more picks. Joaquin. Ah, I wish I took Ronaldo. Joaquin has to be picked because he's La Liga. I wish I took that Ronaldo. We could have put Joaquin at right mid there. And then Jordi Alba is going to be the last remaining soldier for us. And that's really sad, actually. I mean, I think that's what's that? One, two, one. I think that could have been a huge... I think that might have been a 1-2-3 or even a 1-2-4 if we got to take all of the best players. But let's get into the fourth and final attempt for today. Here we go, guys. The fourth and final attempt for today. We'll go with the 4 triple two, you know. There's some nice players in the 4 triple two. We're going to start off with... Now, Pele goes in the camera, which I don't want. So I'm going to start with George Best. Just because he goes onto the bench. Striker spot number one. Penny Dalglish. Great career for him as well. Striker spot number two. Joe, let's go. Fernando Morientes. Cam number one. 
Rukosta. I'm going to go with Fekir anyway. Here, the La Liga player. Cam number two. Brahim Diaz. It's falling apart. Give me something big. Let's go. Lothar Mathaus. World Cup version. We'll take uh, there as well. Montiel goes in as well. This lineup's picking itself again. Give me that team of the year. No, we're going to take Jules Koundé. All came on him. We're going to take Rafa Marquez. In at left back. Ooh, we're going to take Joao Cancelo. And that was like, hello, hello. And no goalkeeper either. Mm. This is an interesting squad. Not too many La Liga players so far, to be fair as well. There we go. We've got our goalkeeper, Marchese in. In you go, brother. We need a left back from La Liga. Not, oh, I was going to say not a left wing back with Marcus Alonso, but Captain Villa arrived. And in he goes. I think this might be the one, two, three, guys. The lot. Oh. Oh, it's even worse. I have to take Sabali. That Hakimi team of the year for the bench would have been nice. Sabali does upgrade the team, I suppose. Akvese doesn't fit into the team. Other than a Cam and a DM, we've got everything we need. Centre mid doesn't work, but Sergio Bisquets. In he goes. Give us that chemistry. It is just the Cam that we need. Very nice. 94 and Mbappe for the bench. I'll to upgrade this bench, though, to be fair. We've got only a couple of lower-rated players on there. However, Raspadori does upgrade it. He goes in over Lafon. Does that take us to an 89? It does not. What have we got here? We've got 88 Anthony over 85 Torreira. Still not an 89. We have got 86 Kondreva over 85 Montiel. I'll be shocked if this takes us up to an 89. Two more picks to go. We haven't had really many dead picks this time around, have we? Well, there's the cam that we needed for the chem. And it's an upgrade to an 89. We are now at a 1-2-2 confirmed. So only a monster player here can push us to that 1-2-3. It didn't happen. However... That is going to be tough to beat, guys. A 1-2-2 two, two. La Liga draft. Obviously, wasn't a full La Liga because, you know, we didn't get the, the strike of the DM, etc. But under the rules that we've set ourselves for these draft challenges, that is a good way to finish today's video off. I wonder if when team of the season comes, we can push these up. I am going to note these down and start tracking them so that when we come back to revisit this challenge in a month or so's time, We'll have some actual records sat there. But 12 La Liga players, 122 squad rating. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.